Oxford have successfully performed a uterine transplant. So why is this so exciting? Well, you might wonder why we haven't already been doing this, but remember that a uterus isn't a life-sustaining organ like a kidney or the lungs, so it didn't initially get the research and funding it deserves. A uterus serves a specific purpose, to grow a baby, so it's only used a very specific time. But this is exciting because there are thousands of people out there who could potentially benefit. People with conditions like MRKH, where they are born without a womb, or for people whose womb has had to be removed due to cancer. This gives them a chance at carrying a pregnancy themselves. But we have to be cautious. Transplant surgery is highly risky. It also involves being on immunosuppressive medications afterwards to prevent the organ from being rejected. And we still don't really know how good a transplanted womb is at conceiving and carrying a pregnancy. It's not to mention that if we do roll this out, there's a difficulty of finding well-matched donors for everyone who wants a uterus. It's exciting. It opens up a world of possibilities. Over 100 womb transplants have taken place across the world so far. There have been babies born from transplanted womb, but it's still very much in the experimental phase. The current other option is surrogacy, which is definitely a good alternative, but it's expensive and usually not funded on the NHS and surrounded by difficult ethical decisions which makes the surrogate process very challenging. 